the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Christus Anisti, Christ is risen. Truly, He is risen, and Messiah Hukam, the Hafiqat Hukam. We'll continue together the, um, the series on the way, and we stopped at the, um, the negative station, the big problem of anger that is causing a lot of uh, issues and leading us in a very, very tough situation. Again, is the commandment of God, love God with all your heart, and also again is the commandment of God, love your neighbor as yourself. Let us um, start with prayer. Hear us, O Lord, when we call upon you, thank you, our Father, heart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, then the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. There was a dad who had um, uh, an elementary school, like a 10-year-old boy. And this 10-year-old boy was out of control, uh, always yelling, saying bad words, cussing. And um, he, he couldn't do anything with him. And he tried to, to reason with him. He's not getting it. He's trying to speak with him, lecture him. Nothing is working. So he told him, uh, okay, uh, he went to uh, a store, and got a big block of wood, and he told him, uh, we, we will fix this uh, piece of wood in the backyard nearby the fence, and um, every day you come and tell me what did you do in the day, exactly with whom, what did you say to this person, and so forth. So the, the first day came, and... Uh, We'll name him Johnny. Johnny came, uh, his name is not Johnny, but just for the sake of the example, Johnny came and he told his dad, I yelled at this person, I cussed at this person, I was very bitter and very angry with this uh, friend in school, and unfortunately I hit the, this person, uh, this friend with me in church. So those four things, negative that he did, it's all of anger, he told him, okay, go and put a nail in this wooden uh, block. He put the first nail, the second nail, the third nail, the fourth nail. Then the second day, he told him, uh, okay, what did you do? He did something the same. Also another four nails, second, third day, three nails, five, fourth day, and so forth. After one week, the whole board is full of nails. And he told him, you know what? I, I wrote down the names of the people that you wronged because of your anger and I am requesting you to go and apologize to each one of them. So the Johnny was very honest. He went and he apologized to all the people and wholeheartedly and, and did everything he can do. So I told him, now you did a great job. Go and remove the nails from the wooden block. Uh, Johnny went it was very, very hard to remove the nails. His dad helped him out to remove the nails. And he succeeded to remove all the nails in the, this uh, wood um, piece. And he told him, uh, congratulations, you have uh, uh, finished uh, the, the test that I am giving you. What is the outcome? He told him, yeah, I, didn't, I did a lot of bad stuff, but I fixed all the stuff. I returned back and I apologized to the people and it should be okay. He told him, do you think that it is okay? He told him, yes, for sure it's okay. He told him, look to the wood. And he saw all the, the, the spots of the holes in the need and the, in the, in the wood uh, uh, block. And he told him, Yes, you apologized, you reconciled with the people, but you left a mark. You left a mark in the heart of everyone. You, you have really hurt them, you have really humiliated them, you have uh, went out of control in your anger, and during this anger, you cannot just say, I, I told them sorry, because yes, you told them sorry, you removed the nail, but the nail, unfortunately, when it is removed, it, it leaves a big hole in the wood. And you think that you apologize to people after being angry and you think nothing is, is, you are okay with it. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. You are leaving a hole in uh, this relationship that is a, a negative mark 
that is um, uh, will be imprinted and it will have an effect on this relationship for a long time. So the consequences of anger is, is even beyond what we think of or we, what we can um, uh, understand because uh, it goes really deep. It goes really deep. Yes, you can say sorry. Yes, you can apologize. Yes, you can be genuine in your apology. But the question is, does it really worth it? Does it really worth it to go through all of this? Because I, I was angry or I couldn't stop myself from yelling or from saying bad words or from uh, rebuking this person and telling this person you're wrong and pointing this. So uh, remember that the consequences of anger is not easy to be removed. It is what we say with our tongue in the time of bitterness and anger is not easy to be removed. It just has a lasting effect. And this is very, very important especially in the life of the kids and also in the life of the youth. You think that when you are angry and you cuss this person or you bullied this person in school or you were seeing this person being bullied and you didn't defend and you didn't do anything, that this is just something is okay. Unfortunately, no, it leaves a lasting effect inside of us. So back to uh, solving the problem, solving the problem of... Uh, of anger we this is the third session or the third time the third time we are returning back to the problem of anger and trying to find a solution uh, uh, we we mentioned almost 10 10 solutions in the past uh, couple of days uh, the the winner or the one who win the souls is a wise man. Rabah al Nifus Hakim. The one who win the soul is a wise man or is, is wise. Because, because when it is not winning the soul for you, it is not creating uh, being popular or loved or cool within your friends or within the group of people that you know, but it is winning the souls for God. Because by what you say and what you act and your. Uh, demeanor is affecting the people who are around you big time. So we need wisdom as we mentioned last time. Uh, what else we can do is uh, more communication and more uh, understanding. Try to be understood before being, uh, to be, to understand before being understood. Try to be, to understand before being understood. It is a key uh, factor in the things that we do because when we jump to conclusion, when we are quick to anger, when we are doing or making decisions, we are not aware what is really uh, going on. Um, the Lord mentioned or spoke about convincing and uh, uh, making people understand as a, a tool in communication. Convincing and making people understand. Sometimes when people they don't understand, they start acting in an irrational way. I remember one of the times one of the abunas whom I was serving with came very late to one of the liturgies. And I know that this priest has woke up very early and he prayed the uh, uh, unction of the sick or andir in one of the houses and uh, was stuck in, in the traffic. That's why he came late. He was not late, he just woke up. But people started judging him and maybe uh, the, giving him the looks or thinking of him. And so in or we can avoid all of this hassle or maybe someone will be angry or bitter because what? Or seeing a priest coming to the liturgy very late. Just a small announcement that is said, you know what? Um, uh, my apology for being late, this what was going on. So every all the feelings and the emotions and the heat that is in the, the situation is going down because there is more understanding. The Lord was not responding to people who are criticizing with anger. He was responding to them with convincing answers. If you think, if someone come to me as a priest and telling me, Abuna, you look like you have a devil inside of you. Oh, you are calling me that I have a devil? You are, uh, and you can go on and on and on. It's going out of control. 
This happened with the Lord himself. They told the Lord, it seems that you are a bal as a bob, or you are a leader of, uh, of the, the devils, and you are casting out devils with the de because you are a devil like them. And the Lord did not respond on an emotional level with an anger. He convinced them. He told them, if the devil is casting out the devil, then the kingdom of the devil is broken and divided. This is not the case, and the kingdom cannot be standing. If the house is divided against itself, does not stand. The church divided against itself, it does not stand. He explained in deep details about the situation, and he convinced the people. If they are want, if they want to be convinced, some people are determined. We are not going to believe. We are not going to be convinced. This is it. Don't tell me anything else. But the Lord was taking the the, the attacks or the criticism from the people with not on a personal level, but in a very intellectual, very convincing, okay, you are saying this because, because of what you are thinking this way. Okay, let me explain to you why this is happening and why this is happening and why this is happening. So one of the important things is convincing and uh, reasoning with the people if there is a chance of reasoning. You cannot reason with someone who is completely up. The feelings is completely up and they cannot control their feelings. There is no reasoning here, because reasoning is already down the road, down the, 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 the drain. But um, when people are willing and under, yani, they have the willingness to understand, it is very easy to reason with them and explain things with them, because it is not a big deal. So one of the things we learn today is, for those who are criticizing or those who are attacking, try to reason and rationalize things in a convincing way, not attacking and uh, putting off fire with fire. Second thing is, you know, um, when you when you are holding grudges in your heart. So think of this: uh, the difference between if you have a cup a cup of tea, you take the tea bag, you cut it and put all the tea in the tea bag in the cup. So the cup, now there is no tea bag, there is a, a cup full of uh, tea uh, leaves in the end or in the bottom of the cup. And what is the difference between having this tea cup, having the, the, the leaves in the, in the bottom or pouring all this tea with the leaves in the drain of the sink? What is the difference? The difference is the, the tea in the cup, there is residual of leaves is there, it's still there. When you throw it in the drain, it is no longer there. Sometimes, sometimes, when you are dealing with people, they throw at you the leaves like the leaves of the tea. And you keep precipitating or letting them settle down, settle down, settle down, and they are not drained. They are, they are still in your system. You are holding still grudges. And because you are holding grudges and you didn't forgive the person for the first thing, the second thing, the third thing, the fourth thing, so everything is accumulated and you, you, he is done or she's doing one wrong thing and now you explode out of control. Why this is happening? Because you are keeping the, the grudges inside of you. You didn't let go what is inside. You didn't forgive the person wholeheartedly. You have been saying, you, know what, you are putting it under the rug if we can say التصريف وليس التسريب الترسيب تصريف يعني go down the drain ترسيب is precipitating letting happen this is what Pope Shenouda said because when we are angry for something and you, we are upset from something it is very easy to just put it under the rug and don't speak about it and that's why sometimes someone you will do a, a small very very tiny little thing and the, the result or the response from the person is, is, wow, what is going on? How come he's that angry or she's that bitter? She's that, that mean, what's, what's going on? Yeah, what is going on is that we are holding grudges and we are not letting go and trying to move ahead from the things that the people have done wrong with us. أَمَّا الْحُكَمَاءِ فَأَصْرِفُونَ الْغَضَبِ in uh, the pro book of Proverbs 29, verse 8, Proverbs 29, verse 8. 
أما الحكماء فيصرفون الغضب يصرفون الغضب it means that it is it is no longer there look in the scripture what the scripture is saying but wise men will turn away the wrath will turn it away they will not hold it they will not keep it they will not hold grudges against people and it is a key in dealing with people the, the more you you let go you let down the drain and you don't think and you don't recall sometimes it is very hard because the people tends to to repeat the same mistakes so when it is repeated or the wrongdoing that they have done it keeps repeating it reminds you with everything that is going on and sometimes it brings everything again and the demon said this evil will never conquer evil evil will never conquer evil if anyone is wrong you you just do good to him because by doing that by doing good you are removing the roots of evil from his heart by doing good to him you are removing the roots of evil from his heart so convincing when people are angry and they are attacking or they are going out of control use the convincing and the rational approach not the emotional and uh, all over uh, the place approach uh, put the the grudges and uh, don't hold fast to the grudges but let it go down the drain don't let it precipitate in your heart and once you put uh, a spoon or something in this cup which has a lot of tea leaves in the bottom everything is floating again this is this is uh, not a wise decision to uh, to make or to deal with people um, third thing is dealing or there are six virtues that help us conquer uh, anger six virtues that help us conquer anger the six virtues that helps us to conquer anger number one is true forgiveness through forgiveness the more فلا يستبق احد ضد نفسه شيئا برفضه ان يغفر لا يتبقى ذلك ضده عندما يصلي when you don't hold saint augustine said do not hold grudges in your heart against anyone because this will be against you in front of god so if i'm holding grudges against uh, adam or against eve my friends when i'm standing in front of god this grudges is judging me in front of god and this blocking my prayers it cannot it cannot go through so first virtue the six virtues that help us to conquer anger number one is forgiveness and the more we forgive the more diligently we forgive the more we will, will not be able to go back and attack this this uh, this person or remind me what you did this and you did that no because you already forgave and you for trying to forget second uh, uh, virtue is fadil to zuhd or um, uh, being not not being materialistic not holding fast to every single penny every single dollar every single interaction every want to win all the time this is a very very bitter and very very unwise life to live if you live all your life getting at or attached and holding fast to whatever is in the world the more you let go the more you leave the more you um, live an ascetic life the more you are not attached with things the more you will not be angry or mad or uh, it's it's no big deal and Antonio said لا تحزن على خسارة أي شيء من هذا العالم do not be sad and for losing anything in this world do not be sad it's not a big deal even if you lost your wallet if you lost your money if you lost your uh, 401k no problem you God can provide and he will provide all the time do not fall in this temptation to the, the, the six virtues that uh, help us dealing with uh, the sin of anger number one is asking forgiveness wholeheartedly number two is uh, letting go or uh, leaving things not getting attached to things or asceticism third one is kindness and uh, meekness kindness and the, the the kind heart be all with one accord with brotherly love uh, having compassion towards each other having compassion towards each other 
if someone is, is, is yelling and you are having confession, there was a story of a, uh, an old, an, a young man had three kids, three boys, from six years old to ten years old. They were in the subway in New York and they were all over the place creating a lot of chaos, a lot of uh, problems. People are, they hated their life when they, when they, uh, in, they were in the same location with this family. And the man was, was broken uh, with a long beard, uh, seems very down, very upset, very something wrong going on, but nobody uh, was speaking with him, but everybody was very angry and very mad at the, the misbehavior of those three kids. And one of the people came and dared to reach out to the, to the dad and they told him, Can, can't you do anything with those kids? They are creating a lot of chaos. And he broke down, the dad broke down and he told him, I'm so sorry, I just came from, my, from the hospital and my wife just died because of cancer. And when people understood the situation of this man, they were very angry, very bitter, almost uh, uh, going to insult the man. They had compassion towards him and they said, you know what, we well, are very so sorry for what you are going through and, and uh, this, is, this is sad. And, we, we are sorry and we are sorry for bringing this up and they had more compassion towards the people so have more compassion in advance even if you don't know what's going on with the life of those people so the six virtues that we need to acquire to help us conquer anger number one is the virtue of forgiveness number two is the virtue of asceticism or not holding fast to anything number three is showing compassion and kindness towards the other person Number four is making peace or creating peace with people. The more we are quick to make peace, the more things will be cooling down and, and uh, uh, it will be easier to, to, to deal with. The more we are very, very delayed, very relaxed, we don't want to address it and it keeps broiling in the heart of the others and the, the problem is keeps uh, going completely out of control, striving to keep peace between each one of, our, of us. I, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthily of the calling with which you are called for all loneliness, meekness, longing, uh, bearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit, unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Do as much as you can to create peace, because the more you create peace, the more things will be much easier and more tolerable, and this will conquer uh, the sin of the anger. Uh, Saint Ogris said, number five, the fifth virtue. So today is today's topic is the six virtues that conquer anger. Number five is praying and saying uh, songs. If your heart is is moved with anger, it can be controlled by songs. If your heart is moved by anger, it can be calmed down by songs. And the more, and if anger is going out of control, saying songs, long suffering and mercy can cool down this fire that is going out of control. Said Mary Ogris, Ogris said, if your heart is working or is moving with anger, it can be calmed down by psalms and by saying psalms. This is a very nice uh, exercise because the more you pray the psalms, you remember the lady that uh, had her husband who was going out of control and violent and she started praying psalms from within. Psalms gives peace inside of the heart and even saying spiritual songs or hymns of the church can give also peace and like be the, like the, uh, an ointment that is going on a wound that is helping it to heal. Last but not least is the long suffering and the patience. Be patient with people. If you, uh, the, the long suffering or the patience or the forbearance is, is the key. If you have a piece of mud, I'm sorry to say, piece of dirt, and you are putting it in a cup of full of water, it will make all the water dirty. But if you keep 
the, the same piece of dirt and you put it in the ocean, nothing is happening in the ocean because it's huge. So if, if this dirt, piece of dirt is being put in my cup and I am very limited, I keep going back and forth and I'm agitated and uh, triggered and angry and bitter and uh, it's going out of control. But the more we have long suffering, the more we are patients, the more we give excuses, the more it is easier to get through all of this uh, stuff without uh, losing our peace from our heart and without doing uh, anything that um, uh, some exercises uh, Pope Shenouda mentioned, uh, train yourself so as not to be angry and not to provoke anger in the, in the life of others. Go away from the things that is provoking you and pray before interacting with someone who is provoking you. If you found a fire, do not blow in the fire because this is putting more gas on the fire. Uh, deal with people or um, stay more time or spend more time with people who are gentle and humble because this will rub off on your soul. Do not go in deep discussion with people when you are exhausted and when you are very tired. This is very common. One of the couples told me we have, uh, we have a problem every time we speak about a couple of topics uh, before we sleep. Uh, uh, we have a big fight then after a while i asked them uh, yani, when what time do you, do you start speaking about this stuff they said uh, 11 p.m i told them and by 11 p.m i'm sorry uh, excuse me by 11 p.m do you still have energy to fight they said no i, I told them this is the whole point because you are em emotionally drained you are very tired you are very exhausted you don't have the energy so you are quick to be angered to be angry in this time. Do not put pressure on the other people who are around you and put more uh, pressure on, on them by um, uh, calling them many times, putting more, more pressure on them, bugging them, uh, repeating things, repeating the requests. Sometimes it's just too much, too much pushing. Uh, those who are wise will not put pressure put pressure on the people or pushing, keep pushing the people to the limit that they are around them, but they will keep distance and respect uh, others' reaction. With the, with the spirit of love, try to think how to comfort those who are angry at you, not how to comfort yourself by getting back to them. Uh, continuing in the exercises that the Pope is, our beloved Pope Shinoda the Departed, um, uh, said try not to be quick in anger but try to understand and listen listen and understand and try to reason why this person is doing this maybe they are seeing something I am not seeing put in your heart that anger is not going to solve problems but is going to complicate problems don't think that courage is uh, courage is being courageous is when you are angry and when you are out of control and no one can speak with you, the patience and the ability to endure is the key in the strong, uh, courageous personality. Uh, do not intervene in the personal stuff or put being nosy in the personal stuff of people and do not uh, ask people about their personal uh, so sometimes, okay, how much money do you make? How much is this? Is a, how much is your payment on your home? How, uh, people asking financial questions. That is, people. The other person is is feeling uncomfortable sharing the information, and they are being cornered in this. And now they are feeling very, very defensive. And maybe this will bring uh, or bring uh, up a, a very, very uh, angry, bitter response from the person whom you are asking. Uh, something that is none of your business. All of this is uh, advices from uh, our beloved Pope. Uh, do not be super sensitive towards your ego. Let go. If someone said something, uh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Move on. Move on with your life. Uh, if you fall in sin, of, of the sin of anger, try to conquer it very early before when it reached five. Do you remember the roller coaster? Tack, 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 tack. 
when it is five. If it reaches seven, it goes down the, the, the way of the roller coaster and you cannot control it. So, uh, the last I will leave is uh, try to smile as much as you can. The more we smile, the more we bring peace in the heart of the people. Someone, when you are, when he or she are smiling, sometimes even if you have something, <laughs> you are angry or you are bitter against them, and when you see they're, they're smiling, this gives peace and comfort in the heart. May God give us, we learn uh, from all these uh, practical things, and we learn the six virtues that will help us conquer uh, the sin of anger by forgiving more, not being attached to the materialistic things, kindness and uh, compassion, making peace between you and the others by uh, saying songs or praying so uh, spiritual songs and uh, reading psalms by forbearance and patience and being uh, uh, long-suffering in dealing with the people and we mentioned many of uh, uh, the exercises that the Pope mentioned. May God bless you and bless everyone. Uh, we'll see you uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow will not be 5.30 because 5.30 there is a lot of things ongoing in, in the church. Uh, we will be back to 8 p.m. Uh, appointment uh, for the sake of uh, making it doable uh, for everyone and also not uh, overlapping with other things happening in the church. To whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen.